Hi and welcome to another WatchGeek video. Today I want to talk about galvanic corrosion, also known as bimetallic corrosion, something that has sadly been happening with my Vostok amphibia. So what exactly is galvanic corrosion? Galvanic or bimetallic corrosion, as the name suggests, happens when you have two different types of metals touching each other. And in the case of my amphibia, you have a stainless steel case and a chrome plated brass crown. As a result, when you sweat, your sweat works as an electrolyte causing a reaction between these two materials that sadly results in corrosion. So how did I come to this realization? Although galvanic corrosion is something I was aware of in other fields of my life, it never occurred to me it can happen to watches. As you may know, I've had my amphibia for about 4 months now and I was wearing it daily for more than a month. Then, as other watches started to come in, like my Sturmansky, I took it off and left it in my watch box. After about another month, I took it out to wear it again. And as I tried to open the crown to set the time, it didn't want to budge. So I had to use my t-shirt to give me better grip and I finally managed to unscrew it with quite an effort. At that time, I was positive that the reason for that was me over tightening the crown as I couldn't remember how much pressure I applied when closing it. Because of this, I took care not to do it this time, so I just lightly screwed it in. And as soon as I felt some resistance from the gasket, I stopped and even went back a little, just in case, since I wasn't planning on diving with it at the time. After another stint of a couple of weeks of it being on my wrist, it went back into the watch box where it sat for another month or so. Then a couple of days ago, I got the urge to put it back on. And believe it or not, the crown was stuck again. Not only that, but it was stuck so badly that I wasn't even able to do it using my t-shirt like before. So I had to use pliers. Now before you start screaming, I did use a rag to protect the crown and case from any scratches. And I was also gentle. Using the pliers, I was able to make it move but no matter how many small motions I made, I couldn't move it with my fingers until it was almost completely unscrewed. When I finally opened the crown and pulled it out, I really had something to see. The whole crown tube was corroded. And since the watch was not used in seawater and it wasn't really used for swimming yet, other than getting wet from an occasional rain, all it got was a lot of my sweat, since we do get hot and humid here. This made me realize that my sweat was probably the electrolyte and since the amphibia, like I said, has a stainless steel case and a chrome plated brass crown, it created a reaction and as a result, corrosion. So to all of you amphibia owners, my advice for a first mod would be to get a stainless steel crown, which is something I will definitely be getting for mine. Unfortunately, since my tube has already corroded, I will have to clean the corrosion off the tube first and then replace the crown. This has made me wonder about brass and bronze watches that use stainless steel casebacks as well. Could it happen to them without the owners even realizing, since they're not opening their casebacks? So if you're an owner of such a watch, please do open the caseback, check it out and let us know in the comment section. But remember, it has to be a watch that was worn while you were sweating and not a safe queen that you only wear on special occasions. I really do hope this is down to my sweat composition and that none of you guys experience the same. But I just wanted to give out a warning that it can happen. Now with the amphibia, fixing it is pretty simple and pretty cheap, since a replacement crown is between 5 and 10 dollars. But on brass and bronze watches, you would have to make a custom case back made of brass or bronze, which I believe is going to be a lot more expensive. Anyways, that's it for today, so thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video and find it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe by pressing this button right here. And until the next video, bye.